Parliamentary General Election 2011. Result for the electoral division. Most of us are familiar with what happens on polling day during the general elections or GE. But what happens before and after polling day? The GE is held approximately once every five years. The president, when advised by the prime minister, will call for elections by dissolving parliament. He will then issue a writ of election to the returning officer or RO. The RO is the officer who is the overall in charge of elections in Singapore. The RO would then issue the notice of election stating the date, time and place for the nomination of candidates. The notice also states the requirements for candidates. On nomination day, candidates present their relevant documents accompanied by their subscribers. At the close of the nomination period, if a constituency is uncontested, the RO declares that the candidate or candidates of a constituency have returned as MPs. For constituencies where more than one candidate or one group of candidates stand nominated, the RO will adjourn the election to a date where a poll will be taken. The RO will then issue the notice of contested election with the date of polling day, the locations of all polling stations, names of candidates, symbols, proposers, and seconders. Candidates may start campaigning from the close of nomination day till one day before polling day. Campaigning activities may include rallies, online and offline advertising, and limited airtime given by TV stations. The day before polling day is called the cooling off day. Active campaigning both online and offline are prohibited. On polling day, voters who are registered in the Register of Electors in contested constituencies would cast their votes between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Registered overseas voters may cast their votes at overseas polling stations allotted to them. At the close of the polls, ballot boxes are sealed and transported to counting centers. A sample count which estimates possible electoral outcome will be announced for each electoral division across different media platforms. Once the votes are counted, the RO then compiles the results from all counting centers for each electoral division. If overseas votes do not impact the outcome of the election, the RO will declare the candidate or the group of candidates with the greatest number of votes to have been elected. If overseas votes have an impact on the outcome, the RO declares the candidate or group of candidates with the highest number of current votes. The declaration of the elected candidate or candidates will be deferred until the day the overseas votes are counted. After counting the overseas votes, the final results are published in the Singapore Government Gazette. Parliament will convene again at a time appointed by the President. For more information on the general election, please visit this website.